After a 4-0 victory over Australia in San Antonio, Texas, the U.S. women headed west to face New Zealand on Sunday, October 27th at Candlestick Park in San Francisco. We talked to U.S. head coach Tom Sermani and several U.S. players to get their thoughts on the first meeting with the football ferns since the 2012 Olympics. I kind of expected us to be a bit rusty last week because the team hasn't been together for some time. So I kind of expected us to be a little bit disjointed, and I think we were at times during the game. But there was also some very promising things in the sense that we still kind of picked up from where we left off how we want to play. And, um, and as ever, we, you know, we kept a clean sheet, which is really important. And, and we won the game convincingly in the end. So there were some real positives at the game. But at the same time, I have to be careful that you, you realise that the stage we're at now is, is restarting again, if you like, after a break. So a team's always a little bit rusty at that time. Um, you know, I think that was the first game we've had as a team in a while. So just kind of continue to tighten things up, clean things up a little bit. Um, and you know, hopefully score some goals like we did in that Australia game. New Zealand's a different team than Australia, um, and they're a good team. I think that they've made made great strides over the last five years. Uh, we obviously played them in the quarterfinals of the Olympics last summer, and um, and and it wasn't an easy game by any means. Uh, obviously, it's a knockout round. They're a team that uh, isn't expected to to beat a U.S. in that kind of environment. So. We know that they're going to actually bring uh, a, a difficult challenge for us. And I think that for what Tom has going on, bringing in new players, uh, having different lineups almost every single game, for us it's a matter of just getting on the same page, getting into a rhythm, and, and hopefully getting chances and finishing them. Well, we've uh, faced New Zealand in the Olympics. They're obviously a very tough opponent. I uh, can never take them lightly. I think they've done um, a lot with their squad uh, from Olympics up until this point. So. We've just got to be ready for them. They're going to be strong, physical. Um, you know, I think somewhat like Australia, wanting to try to play. They've got some quality players in the center of the park. Um, and we've just got to come out and execute our game plan. We'll go over the New Zealand game plan today and uh, figure out what we need to do and just come out from the start and be ready. Um, you know, I think we just want to have a, a solid, kind of consistent performance uh, in this first New Zealand game and then hopefully you know, carry that on to the second game. Uh, the first Australia game was a good start for us and hopefully we can kind of continue that momentum. Every game we've had when I was the Australian coach against New Zealand was always very, very tough. I expect the same tomorrow. They've had they've had a very good year this year. The, the team has, has really moved on. They, they've benefited by, you know, getting to the last couple of Olympics, last couple of World Cups, and they built a really solid squad. So I expect a, a competitive game. I expect a team that's going to go out and, and really make life difficult for us. And, and we are going to have to first and foremost match their, their physical effort and determination. And then hopefully, you know, the, the, the skill sets we have in, in our team will, will be enough to win the game. You can watch USA versus New Zealand live via ussoccer.com web stream on Sunday, October 27th at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. As always, you can also follow along on ussoccer.com's match tracker and on Twitter at US Soccer underscore WNT. From Candlestick Park in San Francisco, that's it for this edition of Studio 90.